All right, so today we're gonna work on the tongue here. Got the front end here, Put the center marked out there. I gotta mark it here too. It's gonna go from here out, and then from the front of the frame out, it's gonna be about five feet. And then the box I'm building is gonna be about two feet wide here. So I'll have about three feet sticking out past the box, plus a little extra with the, the hitch on there. So that should be plenty of length to give you room to like back up and turn sharp without hitting your bumper. Um, yeah, so I've got the three inch tube here. That's gonna be the main tongue piece. And then two diagonal pieces are gonna be the two inch tube. Um, the angles I'm gonna have to cut on those are quite a bit more than 45 degrees, so my evolution saw over there isn't gonna be able to do it. So I grabbed some cutting discs for my grinder and I'm just gonna have to do it the old fashioned way and hope I can cut them pretty straight, but we'll see. All right, got the tongue fully welded on, on the bottom side at least. Let's see, not the prettiest welds, but good enough for me. Um, as I was doing that, my hitch showed up, the rear hitch. So I'll probably weld it on here next. I got the tongue crossbars laid out where they're gonna be. I cut these off camera last night with the angle grinder. I didn't bother filming it because there's just sparks flying all over the place, but they're laid out pretty much where they're gonna be. I probably could have had them come back further, but oh well. Um, I feel like this middle tongue is pretty strong already, so I'm not really worried about these adding a whole lot of strength. Plus the box that goes on the front of the trailer here that holds the fridge pull out and electronics and stuff is going to have some square tubing underneath it attached to all that, so it'll be pretty strong. All right, so I got the trailer flipped over by myself. It was not fun. The trailer actually isn't too heavy until I put this tongue beam on. This three inch tubing is just super freaking heavy. But got it flipped over. I welded up all the joints for the tongue on this side that I couldn't get to before everywhere. So those are all welded. I went and bought a coupler, hitch coupler. So I'll probably drill the holes for those to mount that in next. I don't really want to weld it on. Um, yeah, and once I get that on, I'm kind of, don't have anything to do for like two days, unfortunately. But 
Yeah, I'm gonna try and think of other things I need to do for this to stay busy, so we'll see. All right, I got the hitch coupler on here. These couplers come with a giant sticker over the whole thing that does not come off in one piece, so it took me like 20 minutes of heat and acetone to get it all off. And there's still a bunch of like nasty residue on there I gotta get off. All right, so I woke up this morning with a trailer axle and springs and hubs in my front porch, so that's cool. But we now have a new problem. That the, um, the width of this here is like two and a half inches, but the hole on my wheel where that needs to fit is only about two inches. So now I have to order some wheel spacers, which normally wouldn't be a big deal except with this coronavirus lockdown going on, it's probably going to take a month for them to show up, and nowhere here in town has them. So that's awesome. Plus now it's going to push my tires out like an extra inch and a half on each side, which is also kind of annoying, but... I was originally going to try and get the axle and everything on today and get this thing sitting on wheels, but... That's not going to happen. The only other thing I thought of is my wheels are aluminum. So if I really wanted to just butcher them, I could get a die grinder and make the hole bigger. But that for sure would not look very good. So probably going to try and find some wheel spacers online that'll show up here in a decent time. Or see if there's anywhere in a, another town nearby or something that sells them. But the only auto parts stores here sell them and they're like a quarter inch thick or something. So. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and try and get these springs mounted today though and get the axle on and try and get somewhere at least. All right, some progress today. Got the leaf springs and axle mounted. The tires I can't mount yet because I had to order some wheel spacers online. And I have no idea how long those are gonna take to show up because of all this coronavirus stuff, but I don't know if you can see. Basically the hub is bigger than the center hole in my wheel here. And my options were to either try and grind out these holes because it's an aluminum wheel so it wouldn't be too bad. Or easier out, I just or some spacers. I don't have a good die grinder to do that. But um yep, so I got those mounted. I figured out where these um pieces of tubing need to be so there's room enough for the tire and space for the suspension and all that so tomorrow I'm gonna get these cut and then finish doing all the framing and then hopefully I can get the frame pretty much wrapped up tomorrow as far as all the welding I still need to make the actual fender but I don't have the steel for that yet, and I probably won't get it till this weekend. But yeah, I'm getting the steel for those, the fenders, and then I'm getting all of the one inch tubing for the actual skeleton of the build. So hopefully, be getting that this weekend. It's already ordered and everything, so 
Yep. And yeah, hopefully these spacers don't take forever to get here. Because I'd like to get this actually on the wheels and rolled out. So then once all this framing is done, I can paint the frame and everything. But yeah, that's where we're at today. So I've got four of these guys made. I just cut some tubing and made some caps for them and welded those on and cleaned them up already. And I've got this marked out here where they're going to go on each side of the tire to give some room. So it's about right about there. So there's a couple inches of space in there at least for flexing a suspension and stuff. It doesn't go all the way to the outside of the tire just because I didn't want it to go out that far. Um, but basically I'm going to have one of these on each side and then I'm going to use some one inch tubing or half inch whatever I have left over and I'm going to frame out a little fender just like a three sided fender and then some sheet metal on each side. I want it to be strong enough where you can use it as a tabletop or a step or whatever. And then, so that's going to come straight out here. Then I have a piece going from here back to that. And then I might add just like a diagonal step right here later. Just with some one inch tubing and like some aluminum diamond plate maybe. I'm not sure. But that's where we're at. This is about, the trailer is a little tilted right now, but that's about the height it's going to be. It's like, I think it's like 23 inches or something. But yeah, I'm going to work on welding those on now and then getting the pieces cut that go from here to those pieces. All right, I got these fender things attached and mostly welded on. I just have to weld the bottom side, but I'm waiting until I attach these other pieces to flip the trailer. Um, yes, yeah, so next I have to do these here, from there, and then from here up. Um, I attached this middle cross brace too. I got these end pieces on now. That kind of looks warped on camera, but it's not. It's flat. But I got all four on, welded on the sides and the top. I just have to flip the trailer over and weld the bottom. But, yeah, so that's where the outside wall is going to come from the outside of that side to that side. It's 5'2", five, five, I think. And then my fenders here. So the fenders are actually only going to stick out about six inches past the wall. And then the tire sticks out like another two inches or so. Um, yeah, so I got those welded on, and my Amazon stuff that was supposed to be here in like three weeks showed up in two days, so that's cool. I got my 7-pin trailer wire junction box. These are the flush mount reverse lights I'm going to use on the back. Um, these are the tail lights. They're going to be mounted vertical like this on each side of the wall. So on the, next to the hatch, like halfway up on each side. And then I got a bunch of these clearance lights and some red ones too. So the orange ones, are gonna go on the side on the front here. And then I might do one up on the wall here as well. I'm not sure yet. And then the small red ones are gonna go on the back here on the side. And then up in the center, I'm probably going to do three in a row up there. But I got five of each color, so I have a couple. I think I'll use four orange and all five red. So, All right, we're back out here working on the trailer. I took the weekend off pretty much, like the last four or five days off of the trailer. Didn't really do a whole lot. Went out of town for a few days. But the frame is completely welded up now. It's all welded, everything's completely welded everywhere, top and bottom. I ground down all the welds on the top side, so 
that plywood and everything can sit flat. And I went and picked up a bunch more steel. I've got a bunch of one inch square tubing. That's like 1 16th wall. It doesn't need to be super, super stout or anything. And then I got some half inch tubing. So all of the one inch tubing is gonna be to build the skeleton of the actual trailer and everything. And then the half inch stuff, I just bought it to do, um, to use on a roof rack. At least that's my plan. I didn't design a roof rack yet at all, but just kind of looking at them, I figured a half inch tubing would work. But I'm gonna do just some kind of roof rack on the top of the roof and then over here on this front box it's going to come up about two feet and i want to do just like a rail around the front and two sides so then you can like put stuff on top of there and strap it down like um, extra coolers or uh, firewood or whatever or some plastic tote so and i got um, a sheet of uh, 16 gauge, 4 by 8 sheet. I'm going to use some of the 1 inch tubing and make a like a three sided um, fender here. And then I was going to use the sheet for something else as well, but I can't remember what it was. But I just got a whole 4 by 8 sheet because I'll probably use it for something else eventually. And then so I got a big piece of cardboard. I'm just gonna kind of, I have that wheel where it's gonna be. I don't have it mounted because I'm still waiting on wheel spacers because they won't fit on my wheels. And who knows when those will show up. But I've got it pretty much sitting exactly where it's gonna be um, as far as how far it sticks out. Obviously I didn't plan for it to stick out this far. It was supposed to be like an inch and a half in, but now I gotta run wheel spacers, so it's just gonna be sticking out really far, but whatever. So I'm gonna use the cardboard and make a template for where the fender is gonna be, and then start cutting up some of this one inch tube and work on that. And then once I finish the fenders, I can start working on the actual framing of the trailer. So yeah. Oh, I also got, it's over there, but I got a box with all the wiring to run all the lighting to the trailer. Oh, I drilled these holes, one on each side in the front and one on the back for these little clearance lights. I got orange ones and red ones. So, yeah, slow progress, but we're getting there. I think as soon as I finish these fenders, it'll, and start working on this, it'll start taking shape a lot quicker. I got my fender pieces cut. These two end ones, I got eight of those, four of those. Basically gonna make four of these assemblies. Um, one for the inside, one for the outside, obviously. And then I'll probably do two short stretchers between each one on both sides. So I'll probably have to cut four of those, but I'm gonna get these welded in place and then measure them in place for how long each one needs to be. I have a pretty much idea of what it's gonna need to be, but when welding stuff, it always moves around. Basically my plan, once that is in, is to cut a piece of sheet metal long enough to go along this. And instead of doing three pieces, I'm gonna try to do one piece and bend it right here, just to avoid having to weld that seam on top. And obviously I can grind it and stuff and make it look good, but this might save some time. I think I'm just going to use my angle grinder with the cutoff wheel and score the bottom where I want to bend it and then just kind of fold it on there hopefully. So I got the fenders welded on, or the, the bracing for the fenders anyway. The framing I guess. Both sides there. So the wall will come to here and then the fenders will stick out about 6 inches and then the tire sticks out another inch and a half or so. I've been, I've been going back and forth on if I should add a brace across here on the front and back because I'm going to use a sheet metal to go over it and bend it. And I'm thinking 
the sheet metal with the bend should be strong enough. It's not gonna really need to have a ton of weight or anything on it. I just might step on it once in a while to get to the roof rack. I've also been debating adding a step right here. I originally thought of doing one kind of all the way across under the door, but it wouldn't really help that much as far as getting in the doorway because the door is only a few inches higher than that. And it would probably just get in the way more than anything for getting in the door. But I thought of adding a small one just in the corner right here or in the back or both just to have something to step on to get up to the roof rack later if needed. Or you can step from here then onto the fender up to the roof rack. Because the trailer itself here is pretty high. It's like almost two feet, I think. So I'm fairly tall, I'm like 6'2", and the roof is gonna be about six feet high. But having a step to get up there and reach up to the center of the roof and stuff would be kind of nice. But, I don't know. If I do add a step here in the, in the front, I'll use the one inch tubing. And then either like a piece of diamond plate or just this regular plate or something. Or I was thinking of just doing the tubing with no sheet metal on it. Because it doesn't really need any metal. It's going to be that small. Just somewhere to put your foot. So, I'm not sure yet. But now that I've got these both welded on, I'm gonna get a piece cut for each of these fenders out of the sheet metal, and then probably score it where it needs to bend, and then hope it fits on there. Alright, I've got the fenders both pretty much done. They're both welded on the insides up there, both sides. I didn't really want to do any welds on the outside just to keep it looking clean. And the wall is going to be coming right here and around and over the fender. So the fender is still going to stick out about six inches from the wall and then the tire sticks out like another inch and a half. So you'll still have room to like set stuff here or step there. And then I think I am going to add just like a 45 degree angle step right here. Just a small one, just big enough to put your foot on. On the, on the rear and the front of the fender on both sides probably. Just to have something to step up to reach the roof rack or to be able to step onto the fender. Because without that, that fender is really high off the ground. Even I can't reach it. Um, and now I just started cutting out all this one inch tubing to work on this actual frame here. So I cut some of these the long top ones and these cross members. And I got a bunch more to cut but I gotta, I haven't ordered any windows yet. So I need to do that so I know how big of spacing to leave for the windows. So I'll probably go do that tonight, but I think I'm going to leave it here for this video because the, the frame, the fenders, and everything are pretty much done. I just have to add those steps later on, but yeah, pretty much the frame is done. In the next video, I'll just be going over making the skeleton of the camper and everything, so yep.